Hey guys, this is Danny's Auto Repair. Today I'm doing a quick video on my Pittsburgh three jaw hydraulic gear puller. It says up to 10,000 pounds of pulling force, heavy duty steel construction, reversible jaw for inside or outside pulling, 16 inch handle with cushion grip. This is the uh, five ton and it has a little number there 64983 now the reason why I bought this tool is because um, today I was trying to take off a um, a rear rotor from a car and I hammered it about about 10 times and it didn't want to come out so I saw a guy on YouTube I forgot his name and um, he used this exact tool to take out the rotor. So I figured, you know what, let's give it a try, why not? So I picked this up today from Harbor Freight. I paid 80, it's about 80 bucks, or close to 80. Um, it's on the internet for 69, but um, you know, when they had the taxes and all that other stuff, it's like 80 bucks or close to it. So, this is it guys comes in a nice case that's the little handle they're talking about right there to pump up the uh, the jack that's attached to it you got some little seals here and this is it guys these are the screws that goes to the uh, to the jaw puller and I believe the jaws go on here it's heavy duty heavy duty piece here it's a little heavy let me see if I can put on the light so you can see better okay there we go so yeah this is how it looks guys and these are the jaws here come nicely packed here So I will be using this tool next week guys and I'll be making a video. So hopefully this will work. I'm pretty sure it will. And this is um I believe these are the attachments when you put the uh the screws and the jaws together. These are the screws here. And these are SC 8.8 .8 screws. They're all the same. There's one, two, three, four, five, six screws with the nut and the washer. Now this is the the jack here, I believe, that goes to the uh, tool. It's like a little jack, you could say, but hydraulic. Five ton three jaw hydraulic gear puller. As you can see. And then you put the uh, the little handle in there, that one right there, that little tube there. And then you jack it up. I mean not jack it up, but you pump it up and that'll start pulling whatever you're going to use for it whatever you're trying to pull you can pull bearings rotors that kind of stuff 
has little clamps down here as you can see here so yeah guys um, I'm gonna be using this next week for my new video and the car that I was trying to take the disc out the rotor was from a uh, 2012 Kia Optima so oh this has another little little button here it says, it says uh, off and on so this is on no this is wait yeah this is on this way and off is this way so right there is off <clears throat> so I guess when you put it on then you can start jacking it up and then to release the pressure and I guess you turn it off No, you turn it on first. That's on right there. You turn the dial on, and then you can start jacking it up. And when you're finished and you want to release the pressure, this is off. So right there is off. And then the bottom, let me show you guys the bottom here. It's the big two. It has that pointy, uh, the pointy side here. And this goes in the middle of the... Uh, the rotor and I believe this is like the because I saw the guy in the video he was like twisting it so I'm not sure if if this twist is on I think this is what twist is on. This piece here. Yeah. This is what twist is. This twist on and then um it um it gets tighter as you twist it. And then when it gets tight, then you start um pumping it up. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. But um this is a nice tool to have guys because like I said you can use it on if you have a bearing that's stuck because those get stuck they get like frozen to the to the car so um, if you have a, a bearing that's stuck you can just clamp this on real quick and just bust it loose but if that doesn't work you can use uh, that monkey wrench down there that'll bust it loose too but um, I I bought this for the um, for the rotor, so let's see. It's supposed to be a good tool, so I'm looking forward to using this uh, next week, guys. <clears throat> and it's not that big, but it's a little heavy, so it's heavy duty tool, guys. So next week, I'll be uploading that video, taking out that um, rotor. This is the handle here. Wow, this is really, it's really on there. See, it's just a hollow tube, like a hollow pipe. It has a cushion grip. That's pretty much it. Let me see the the back. So yeah, guys, that's it. Three jaw hydraulic gear puller, ten thousand pounds of pulling force. Let's see when I put this on that uh, rotor, so I can apply those ten thousand pounds. <laughs>
Well, so there you have it, guys. I also bought um a um a tool to take out inner tie rods, which I didn't have before. So I'll be making another video of that. So, like I said, this is the uh, the jaws for this tool. Pretty long. You can either connect it here or here. Either one. And then just clamp it on there. Alright guys, so like I said, Harbor Freight and um, paid about 80 bucks. These seals, I have no idea what they're for, but I will find out as soon as I um, open this instruction book. But it has these seals in here. So maybe those are extra seals. But um, like I said, guys, I will be uploading the video next week. So stay tuned for that. So like, share, subscribe, and God bless, guys.